Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cat Guide channel. Hope you guys are having a great start to the new year and a wonderful 2024. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a birdhouse on Onshape. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. So first we're going to go to the front plane by choosing front option over here or by going to front over here, pressing right click and choosing view normal too. Now we're going to choose the sketch option by pressing on sketch over here or by choosing shift S on our keyboard. And we're going to choose the front plane as our sketch plane. Now we're going to come to this option, which is called center point rectangle. And you might, you guys might have to choose it from the drop down, or you guys could press R on your keyboard. So make sure you guys choose the center point rectangle or press R on your keyboard. Now we're going to extend it from the center of the front plane like this. I'm going to make it four, sorry, five inches tall and four inches wide like this. Now we're going to choose the line option, which we can do by pressing this option or by pressing L on our keyboard. As you draw our cursor along this, you're going to see that a highlighted square appears. So from here, you're going to draw the line and take it to this side. Now to make sure that the line is at the same level on this side, again, we're going to choose our line option, but without pressing, you're going to drag your cursor along and see that, that you may make sure the yellow dotted line follows as you take it to the other side. Now, as we reach here, we're going to left click and take it here. Now what we're going to do is choose the dimension option, which you can choose, but which you can do by choosing this or by pressing D on our keyboard. We're going to choose this point and this point, remove that out and we're going to make it one inch. And as we made this to be at the same level, this should auto extend. And now we can press on the check mark because we're done with this sketch. Now we're going to choose this extrude option, which is the option after the sketch option which you can do by pressing this or by pressing shift E on our keyboard. And we're going to choose this as our extrusion, not this or this, but this. Now, as you guys can see, we want it to be equal on this side as well. So what we're going to do is to, we're going to check the symmetric option and we're going to make the depth five inches. Now we're done with this extrusion, so we can press the check mark. All right. Now what I want to do is add the roof of the birdhouse. So again, we're going to come to the front plane like this. Select on the sketch option to create a new sketch and shift S on our keyboard or choose that option. We're going to choose the front plane as our sketch plane again. Now what we're going to do is choose this option, which is the use option. It might be on intersection for you guys, but you might have to go to the drop down and press use. You guys can also choose the use option by pressing U on your keyboard. Now, as we come to this line, you're going to see this get highlighted and left click on that and the line should get drawn instantly. Now, what we're going to do is come over here and choose the offset option, which you can do by pressing this, which should be here or by pressing O on our keyboard. And we're going to choose this line to be offset. And as you can see, the offset is in this direction, whereas we want it over here. So I'm going to take this arrow and draw it all the way to the other side. And I'm going to make it 0 0.3 inches. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is come to this option. I'm going to uh, press on the drop down and choose the extend option, which you can also do by pressing X on our keyboard. And I'm going to extend this line bo both in these ways. Now again, we're going to choose our line option by doing L on our keyboard or by choosing this option over here. I'm going to extend this horizontally to make sure that this is horizontal. Make sure the yellow dotted line follows perfectly like this. Take it to this side, right click escape line. And again, line option, draw it from here to here, right click escape line. Now what you're going to do is come back to this extend option area, press on the drop down and press the trim option, which you can also do by pressing M on your keyboard. And we're going to remove this extra part over here and over here. 
And now we can press on the check mark because we're done with the sketch. Now we need the roof to go along this side. So again, we're going to choose the extrude option by choosing this, by pressing on this or by pressing shift E on our keyboard. Click on that part, make the depth six inches and make it symmetric. So it's equal on both sides and make sure you press on new, not remove or add, but new. So it's a separate part so we can follow later steps. New six inches symmetric check mark now instead of doing the whole process again and drawing it on this side there's this option called mirror which basically copy pastes this to this side so we're going to choose the mirror option and we're going to choose this as the entity to be mirrored we're going to press on mirror plane and we're going to choose this line as the mirror plane perfect should get mirrored to the other side and we have the roof and the body of our birdhouse complete. Now what we're going to do is hide the roof because I want to make the birdhouse hollow so things can go inside. So we're going to come here to part 2 and part 3 and you're going to press hide part 3 and hide part 2 by pressing on the eye icons that show up. Now what you're going to do is choose this new option which is called shell. So it has no shortcut. So you guys have to make sure that you guys choose the right option. It's before hole and after rib. Click on it. And for the faces to remove, we're going to choose this and this. And for the shell thickness, we're going to make it 0 0.25 inches. Press on the green check mark because we're done. Now again, we're going to uh, show part three and part two. So our roofs come back and we're going to go back to the front. Now we're going to make the entrance to our birdhouse. Now to remove these axes, uh, front, back, uh, front, top, uh, bottom, we're going to press P on our keyboard so it gets hidden like that. Come to the front plane by choosing front over here or by pressing this and pressing view normal too. Now we're going to create a new sketch by pressing sketch over here or by doing shift S on our keyboard. And you're going to choose this front side of the birdhouse as the sketch plane. You're going to come to this option, which is after the center point rectangle. And you're going to choose the center point circle option, which you can also do by pressing O on your, uh, my fault, not O, C on your keyboard. And we're going to draw the circle out like this. Of whatever radius you feel is suitable. And now we're done with this sketch, so we're going to choose the green check mark now to make sure that it goes inside we're going to choose this option again the extrude option shift e on our keyboard choose the press on the circle make sure you guys choose remove and for the for the depth we're going to leave it as it is but to make sure that it correctly ends at this side of the circle the inside and this blind option we're going to press on the drop down and we're going to choose up to next. So it's like this check mark and we're done with that. I want to make another window on this side. So we're going to choose the right side over here. Or we can go right and view normal to right by right clicking on right. Again, create a new sketch. Shift S. Choose this as a sketch plane. Choose a center point rectangle. You can also do that by pressing R on your keyboard and draw a nice rectangle over here again done with the sketch so check mark extrude by doing shift e on your keyboard or by choosing the extrusion option press on the source uh, rectangle and again remove up to next that's how it should be now I'm, i want to add the area where the bird might sit or the food might be placed which is a little porch type place over here so what we're going to do again is create a new sketch choose this front plane as a sketch plane take our center point rectangle and to make sure that it's parallel i mean to make sure that it's right at the center we're going to follow this dotted line and right below the entrance we're going to draw a nice thin rectangle like this 
check mark but this time we wanted to come outside so again extrusion option by doing shift t on your keyboard or by choosing this press on just the rectangle and make sure that you add this time that's a bit too long so i might want to decrease it to 0.6 inches like that in the green check mark it should be done like this now i know it looks boring now so we're gonna add some color to it so first let's add color to the roof so we're gonna left click on both of these right click and choose add appearance to two faces and we're gonna make it black like this also i want to make these two black so we're gonna choose these two right click add appearance and make it black and i want to make all these other sides of the body red so we can choose this 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 so now we've chosen all of these faces right click add appearance to the four faces and you guys can choose whichever color you feel i want to go with red like that and let this be add appearance to face let this be gray and i think that's about it let the interior be whichever color you guys feel it should be this is what i'm done with for now uh you guys can be as creative as you want you guys could add windows on this side maybe uh one more layer for the porch but this is the simple design for the birdhouse and how you guys should go about it thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and please make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on the cat guide channel thank you for watching and bye bye